November 21, look at things eternal. We look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 4.18 If the church will put on the robe of Christ's righteousness, withdrawing from all allegiance with the world, there is before her the dawn of a bright and glorious day. God's promise to her will stand fast forever. Truth, passing by those who despise and reject it, will triumph. Although at times apparently retarded, its progress has never been checked. Endowed with divine energy, it will cut its way through the strongest barriers and triumph over every obstacle. What sustained the Son of God during his life of toil and sacrifice? He saw the results of the travail of his soul and was satisfied. Looking into eternity, he beheld the happiness of those who through his humiliation had received pardon and everlasting life. His ear caught the shout of the redeemed. He heard the ransomed ones singing the song of Moses and the Lamb. We may have a vision of the future, the blessedness of heaven. In the Bible are revealed visions of the future glory, scenes pictured by the hand of God, and these are dear to his church. By faith we may stand on the threshold of the eternal city and hear the gracious welcome given to those who in this life cooperate with Christ, regarding it as an honor to suffer for his sake. As the words are spoken, Come ye blessed of my Father, they cast their crowns at the feet of the Redeemer, exclaiming, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Matthew 25:34 and Revelation 5:12 and 13. There the redeemed greet those who led them to the Savior, and all unite in praising him who died that human beings might have the life that measures with the life of God. The conflict is over. Tribulation and strife are at an end. Songs of victory fill all heaven as the ransomed ones take up the joyful strain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain and lives again, a triumphant conqueror.